I'm Augie Galindo. I'm one of the owners of Testosterone Centers of Texas. We have been in business since 2012. We now have five clinics in the DFW area. So what I say to people who have been told their thyroid is fine, um, and I'm a big fan of using the air quotes there, the, the thing is that most people just don't look at it the way that I think it should be looked at. The standards, the guidelines tell you to first check a TSH, which, which is a thyroid stimulating hormone, and if that is abnormal, then you progress to the next tests. The next tests are usually a total T4, perhaps a free T4. So your thyroid gland produces two primary hormones, and those are T3 or T4. They have much longer names, but everybody calls them T3 and T4. And just like we talk about free testosterone versus total testosterone, that also matters with your thyroid. So free T3 matters more than total T3, and free T4 matters more than total T4. So when you only look at the TSH, that is just a signal coming from the pituitary gland telling the thyroid what to do, but it's not actually checking what the thyroid does. So it's not a measurement of thyroid function. It's a measurement of thyroid stimulus. So what we need to check, what I prefer to check is your TSH, we will look at that, but then also your free T3 and your free T4, because this tells me not only that your thyroid's actually producing something, but it's telling me how much of that hormone is actually in use for your body. So what I consider an appropriate assessment for your thyroid starts with symptoms. So I'm going to ask about your fatigue, mainly because I'm gonna start with testosterone and that's a component of that as well. But then I'm gonna go a few steps further and ask you about how that fatigue impacts your day. Is it number one, global? In other words, is it all time, all time throughout the day, every day? Or is it episodic? Like I mentioned, is it a midday fatigue that happens right after lunch? Or is it just intermittent and you over every once in a while you're feeling tired and it's not a daily thing? All of those little nuances may make a difference as to where I would categorize that being a symptom of either, either low testosterone or hypothyroidism. Uh, but your symptomatic evaluation for hypothyroidism needs to be done first. So are you having fatigue? Are you having cold intolerance? Are you having weight gain? Are you having uh, changes in your skin or your hair? Are you losing your hair? All of those symptoms start the process. Once the symptoms have been evaluated, then we looked at the numbers. And those numbers need to include, in my opinion, a TSH, or thyroid stimulating hormone, a free T3, and a free T4. All those together, uh, again, coupled with symptoms are what's going to tell me the most about what your thyroid's doing. So what I would consider to be normal numbers for your thyroid panel, I will start with your TSH. Most labs will consider this number normal somewhere from 4.5 4 down to about 0.5. I don't like to see a TSH that high. I believe anything over three is worth looking into a little more deeply. So that tells me that you are still having to overstimulate your thyroid to get decent production from it. But what I really hone in on is your free T3. And again, there are ranges here, so it's kind of hard for me to put just a single digit out there, but I can tell you that I would prefer to see a free T3 above 3.4. Uh, that is, will put it in the upper third of normal by most labs. And so that lets me know that if you have a normal TSH that for me is under three and you have a free T3 that's above 3.4, that tells me that your thyroid is not having to be overworked, yet it is performing optimally. The symptoms of hypothyroidism that you'll normally find listed will be things like cold intolerance, dry skin or hair, hair loss. Uh, also, you can have changes in your bowel habits that tend toward constipation. But my red flag symptom is midday fatigue. This is not just a little tiredness. This is a profound onset of really almost somnolence. You get so sleepy or hit a wall that you, to the point where you feel like you need to take a nap. And this usually will happen within 30 to 60 minutes after eating lunch. So you've gone through your morning, it was okay, you eat lunch or your midday meal, whatever that is, and within 30 minutes you just feel like you got hit by a Mack truck. That kind of onset of fatigue on a daily pattern, something that is happening over and over again, that becomes really suspicious to me for hypothyroidism.
The treatments that are available for hypothyroidism are oral medications. You can get these in a couple of different forms. The, the standards are synthetics that are either T4 or T3. That would be Synthroid or Cytomel for the name brand. Or what I prefer to use are naturally desiccated thyroid products. So these are things like Armour Thyroid, Nature Thyroid. They can be compounded as well. Uh, but they are porcine derived or pig thyroid derived and they give you a natural hormone that your body utilizes in the same way. And the thing I like about those medications is it gives you T3 and T4 together. Uh, you can combine the others, but I just find patients do respond better, in my opinion, to the naturally desiccated thyroid products. You can expect if thyroid function is improved through hypothyroidism therapy will be improvements in the specific symptoms you had because not everybody is going to exhibit every symptom along the spectrum. It's going to be somewhat patient specific, but generally that fatigue that's overarching and pronounced, I would definitely expect a resolution of that. So if you're having that midday almost crippling fatigue, then I would expect that to be lessened to essentially eliminated if we're getting everything just right. Thyroid medication has to be taken at the right times. You have to have it on an empty stomach. You have to not eat within an hour after taking it. So there's some compliance issues there. But if we are looking at your labs right, we're monitoring your symptoms appropriately and you're compliant with the plan, then this is something that should improve. Also, cold intolerance, hair loss is also sometimes that is sometimes when hair loss is due to hypothyroidism, that's something that can be resolved with hypothyroidism therapy. And then, of course, other things like weight gain and, and bowel habit changes at 10 constipation, you could have a, a, a return to regularity there. So those are things you can expect to see. I am Augie Galindo. I'm one of the owners of Testosterone Centers of Texas. Thank you for listening and watching. And if you would like to learn more, go to tctmed.com.